Uh, you know, some people might think just because I got sugar diabetes that I can't donate blood. That is an untrue myth. It really is. Um, just if you're in good general health, right. with not history of major illnesses, heart, lung disease, that sort of thing, okay. um, you're, you're probably going to be able to give. And diabetes is one. Years ago, uh, that was uh, a reason to be deferred from donating blood. But, you know, as, as uh, diabetes treatment has advanced and, and uh, the need for blood has advanced, you have to reconsider well, who, who is it really safe for right. to give blood. And, and again, as we screen donors, we think, is, is it going to be safe for the donor to give, and is it going to be safe for the patient to, to receive it? And so there's many, many, many things. Diabetes is one. Right. High blood pressure is another. Yeah, People yeah. think they can't give because they take high blood pressure medicine or they have high blood pressure. We're going to check their blood pressure. As long as it's in a normal range, they're going to be able to give. Oh, that's so wonderful. And, and Peggy, let me ask you this. How much percentage of blood does one person usually donate? Well, you can donate blood every 56 days. So you can do donate one pint of blood every 56 days. And the average adult has anywhere from 11 to 12, you know, pints of blood in their body. So you can afford to lose that one pint every 56 okay. days. That is so phenomenal. You know, you're saving lives, you're touching lives, and you're giving uh, from the heart. You know, that is so wonderful. What's the best way that people can get informed and stay up with what you're doing? You know, you got a certain website or something like that? Yes, we do. Um, all the information about our blood drives that we've got coming up in our communities can be found at um, www.kybloodcenter.org. Okay. And that's our, our website, and it's very informative, has um, all the information about our upcoming drives. Also, we try to make sure that we put it on the radio stations and in the local newspapers. Um, you'll see posters throughout the community. We try to get the word out there as best as we can to everybody. Yeah, I've se seen a lot of, you know, the blood mobile. I've seen it everywhere, at <laughs> churches, at, um, you know, restaurants and different things like that. So you guys are really out in the community, and you're working hard every day. Yes, we are. Um, and that's the thing, you know, we've got to have these mobile blood drives out there so that we can have enough blood. We've got donor centers for people who uh, just need to come in, in center to donate, but you know we're always looking for new churches and new uh, community organizations that are willing to help us out with blood drives. Now do you all have set certain goals that you would like to see like in blood drives and stuff? Oh, we absolutely, we do. We look at uh, each group and based on um, how many members they might have and based on their history, we, we set a goal and, and estimate, like I said, what we, we think we'll be able to collect. And and that's Peggy's job. Peggy covers how many counties, Peggy? I've got seven counties in southeastern that, Kentucky. That, that she covers, in. including Knox and Laurel and Whitley. And uh, so she's out meeting with the churches. She's in the schools, scheduling the high school drives. She's talking talking with uh, the civic club. So if, if someone needs, you know, would like a speaker at a civic club, Peggy is the person that will come and do that. Um, and she will work with you, give you all of the materials you need, everything you're going to need to really hold a successful blood drive. That is so phenomenal. And you know, I know a minister that uh, just lost, like he was in hospital and he lost like four pints of his blood mm -hmm. and the blood was there for him. You know, that's the importance of the blood center is having the blood on hand. You you know, there's people that are sick and they're losing, they're losing their blood and, and car wrecks and things of that nature and doctors and operations, they need that blood. They sure do, and if it's not there when they need it, they're never going to need it again. Right, but exactly. But it, it does take about 48 hours to get the blood fully processed and fully tested and then back into the hospital. So, you know, you've got to be ahead of it a couple of days at least. Exactly. And there's no other way to, to get blood. You know, we can't make it. The only way we can have that life-saving blood available is by volunteer blood donors coming in and donating at these drives for us. Right. Uh, you know, what about people that... Kind of squeamish and kind of fearful. It's not a it's not a hard thing, is it? it? It's really not. Like I said, it's a hard pinch in, in on your arm, and if you can right. stand that, you can save three lives. Um, if you eat well, there's some things you can do to have a better experience. Make sure you've had a good meal before you come in. Right. Make sure you're hydrated. That's probably one of the keys. Mm -hmm. And then we give you some advice for how to how to um, handle things after the donation. We like for you to stay with us about 10 minutes or so, and we have all kinds of little 
Little Debbie's. I think we're one of the <laughs> biggest Little Debbie's distributors in the uh, state. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> so, you know, you give cakes, Little Debbie's, and, and uh, sometimes T-shirts. You yes. know, I donated and, and things like that Ooh. to encourage the people. We do typically have a T-shirt for uh, donors or a gift for each donor. Right, right now, uh, if you donate between uh, now and Christmas Eve, and if you want to find a drive in this area, you can go to our website. And, right. uh, but uh, you can opt out of the T-shirt in favor of a, a equivalent value being given to the Salvation Army. Okay. And for about the price of a T-shirt, it's phenomenal what they can do, oh, what exactly. they can accomplish. Exactly. So, so we have that, and um, we'll have. We'll, if you go to the website, you'll find lots of special things going on. Last year, we actually gave away in the summer a Tacoma. Uh, Toyota Tacoma, oh, so I'm still a lucky goodness. donor. <laughs> exactly, and you know, I'm very sure that you would appreciate any help and support and volunteers or anything like that. Mm -hmm. How can like people get involved with the Blood Center and you know work with you? Well, like we said, you can go to the website. It's got my, you know, you can contact me. The, my information is on there where you can um, contact me if you want to host a blood drive. If you just want to volunteer at some of our community drives, help serve, right. you know, um, the little Debbies at the canteen. <laughs> we just greet donors when they come in just to make them feel welcome because, you know. Oh, um,